There's not a lot of teaching out there about how to surrender. Otherwise, people are living from a very strong attachment base, right? Complete surrendering in a way, right? You know, and it's like, okay, maybe there's a higher lesson. All of the books, I would say, are filled with prayers of you know, divine, come in and show me how to let go right now. The part that's holding on so ferociously is often the inner child. So this view is only from the egoic mind that every wish should be happening at every moment or this ego is doing something wrong. Yeah, and then because otherwise people are living from a very strong attachment base, right? You know, attaching to those things. And I think one of the great examples in, in your book is uh, is your friend that was the yogi that uh, finally wrote that book and was brought to uh, the the Oprah show or whatnot, and 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 he was so attached to the fact that he didn't have his book online available on Amazon and it was this huge missed opportunity. And, you know, you write in there and saying, well, maybe it was your lesson to learn to detach, you know, like to let go and, and have that, that you're, that was the lesson, that was the aspect. And, you know, especially since that was what, you know, he is a book about yoga and having that yogic type of outcome, right? Exactly, because because one of the Sanskrit terms in it's not your money is the is the term aparagraha, which means non grasping. And aparagraha, you know, is one of the keys to yoga. Yeah. Like you can't be any kind of yogi, no matter how many types of headstand you know how to do, if you don't know how to let go of chasing and grasping. So what if what happened to him, I love that story because he really changed, that guy totally changed from having that um, experience with his book being blocked. He com- became so open to realizing that he couldn't control everything in the universe and he wasn't doing something wrong that made it happen. It happened because it was a lesson. Yeah. So, I, I mean, in, in the freedom of living from that space, of knowing that, you know, everything is in a way happening for us and not to us and having this level of... You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. Takes two seconds. Just press that little button. The red one. You know the one. Just press it. Little like. All right. Enjoy the rest of this content complete surrendering in a way, right? You know, and it's like, okay, maybe there's a higher lesson. Maybe there's something else. Maybe this is what my soul signed up to do or to learn, right? I think that one of the things is it's, I try to do this really with all of the books. It's very easy to talk about surrender Yes, as a concept. There's not a lot of teaching out there about how to surrender. There's just people saying, do it. Yeah. <laughs> Go no. surrender. Surrender, surrender, surrender. Yes, but exactly. It's a very popular, you know, meme right now. But what happened for me, I'm a Capricorn. I'm really, really practical at heart, was that I had to go figure out practical ways to learn to surrender. And what that taught me is prayer. Because really what I found is that someone can tell you to surrender until your head falls off. But the prayers are actually, and so each, many, all of the books I would say are filled with prayers of, you know, divine, come in and show me how to let go right now. I'm ferociously attached to this particular thing. Open my hands and show me how to let go. And so that's a part of, I would say, especially the, the latest book, the money book. And the other side of it, it's also that the part that's holding on so ferociously is often the inner child. And so to just slap that child's hand and say, you've got to let that go, the kid's going to have a tantrum. Yeah. Because it, it doesn't want to. It's often holding on to this or that just out of sheer terror or a sense of security, you know, insecurity. So another piece of this, I think is very central, is taking care of that kid knowing that the one who's holding on so deeply is often not the inner adult. 
or the inner divine. It's this inner child that really needs attention and love. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have an amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.